In this lecture, I will talk about dynamical system analysis. Uh, as we saw, we can solve equations for a particular starting point, but this is often not enough to enable us to understand the system. Therefore, we use complementary analysis focused on finding equilibrium states, or as we call them, fixed points, where system remains unchanged over time. This type of analysis determines how the system behaves over time, in particular tell us about the long-term long -term behavior of the system. Also, we try to classify these states as uh, stable and non-stable uh, by investigating the behavior of the system near them. We learn how to find fixed point of a system. Uh, and classify them as stable and unstable for one-dimensional system or two-dimensional system. But uh, keep in mind, we will not talk about the proofs of many of the stability theorem, many of the special cases, and uh, the focus will be on how to use this theorem to analyze your system. These lectures are um, a premier for understanding the power and advantage of using algorithmic complexity-based tool for analysis dynamical system. So we are now going into much details about the proofs of theorems. So let's start with something you can test right now. Try to balance a coin on a table. In how many ways you can do that? I personally cannot do it in more than two ways, but there is a third one, head, tails, and edge. So let's assume that you are one of the expert ones and could balance a coin at its edge. Is it a stable? No, small push perturbations uh, and the coin will end up in one of the two other states, heads and tails. Uh, how about those states? Are they stable? Yes, they are stable because if you perturb them, push them a bit, they are not does not change uh, the result. So and um, they stay in the same state. Similarly, think of a ball at rest in a dark um, landscape. It's either on top of a hill or at the bottom of a valley. To find out which, push it, perturb it, and see if it comes back. So, um, a set towards uh, which a dynamical system evolves over time called a tractor. It can be a point, a curve, or more complicated structure. And a perturbation is a small change in a physical system most often in a physical system at equilibrium that is uh, disturbed from the outside. Each attractor has a basin of attractions, which contains all initial conditions that will generate trajectory joining asymptotically this attractor. When we are studying a nonlinear dynamical system, if we are only interested in long-term uh, behavior or long-time behavior, we will only study the attractor of the system and determine their Bayesian of attraction. One of the simplest attractors are the point, uh, which we call it fixed point. Uh, those points are the particular points of the phase space uh, where um, derivatives is zero. The corresponding solution of the dynamical system does not depend on time. It is a stationary state. So uh, let's study an example and try to find the fixed point of a very simple system. We know that uh, at fixed point, the derivatives of uh, the system is zero. So uh, for finding the fixed point, we need to find those points where the derivative equals zero. Uh, if we do that uh, for our system, we can find two fixed points one at uh, x equals 0 and the other one at x equals 1. 
Then we want to know that if they are stable or not. To test that, we perturb the points and see what happens. Uh, to perturb them, we must have a model of the system. Uh, we can use, for example, uh, different equations from a various different uh, initial x. If we perturb each of the two fixed points a bit and check if the output of the system will change or not, we can see that x equals 0 is unstable and x equals 1 is stable. There is general rules regarding the stability of one-dimensional dynamical system which we can use to determine if a fixed point is stable or not. For every fixed point, if the derivatives at this point is positive, then it is unstable. If it is negative, it is stable. And if it, equal, it equals zero, we need to use higher derivatives or other methods. And the point can be semi-stable from above or below. So by now we know a fixed point is a special point of the dynamical system which does not change in time. It's also called a steady state or singular point of the system. If a system defined by an equation dx over dt equals f of x, then uh, the fixed point x hat can be found by examining the conditions of f of x hat equals zero. So we don't need to know analytical solutions of the differential equations. Uh, we don't need to find x of t. We say a fixed point is stable if for all starting values x0 near x hat, the system converges to the x hat as t goes to infinity. A fixed point is marginally stable if for all starting value x0 near x hat, the system stays near x hat but maybe does not converge to x hat. And finally, a fixed point is uh, unstable if for a starting value x0 very near x hat, the system moves far away from x hat. So now let's uh, finish this lecture by looking at another biological model, bacteria growth model. We leave a nutritive solution and some bacteria in a dish. Uh, let B uh, be relative rate at which the bacteria reproduce and P be relative rate at which they die. Then the population is growing at the rate of the difference between B and P. So if we have X bacteria in the dish, then the rate at which the number of bacteria is increasing is B minus P multiplied by X. And we can write it as uh, dx over dt equal to Rx. If we solve this equation, the solution will be a exponential uh, function. But um, is this model realistic? No, the model is not realistic because bacteria population goes to infinity uh, for r greater than zero. Uh, but in reality, as the number of bacteria rises, they produce more toxic products. So instead of constant relative perish rate p, we will assume relative perish rate dependence on their number uh, px. So the number of bacteria increases by bx and their number decreases by px power 2. If we uh, use and replace those in the previous equation which we had, we get a new differential equation which describe uh, the system. Next, we want to uh, find the fixed point of the system. And to be able to find a fixed point, we have to set the right-hand side of differential equation to zero. If we do that, then we will find out that there are two possible solutions. So we have two fixed points. First one, x1 equal to 0, and the second one is x2 equal b over p. Now, uh, let's see what they mean, and uh, we also check their stability. First fixed point means uh, there are no bacteria. None can be born, none can die. 
However, after a small contamination perturbation, which is smaller than B over P, we can see the number of bacteria will increase by Bx minus Px power 2, uh, with, uh, which is greater than 0, and will never return to the zero state. So first fixed point is unstable. Now let's uh, look at the second point, x2 equals b over p, and see what does it mean and test its stability. At this population level, bacteria are being born at a rate b2 over p and are dying at the same rate. So birth and death rates are exactly in balance. If the number of bacteria would be slightly increased, then dx over dt is negative and would return to equilibrium. If the number of bacteria would be slightly decreased, then derivative dx over dt is positive, is greater than zero, and would return to a steady state. So a small perturbation away from x2 will self-correct back to b over p. Therefore, second fixed point is stable.